I just hope uh, I'll be going forward to talk about the venous drainage of the rectum. And um, this is the MBBS Niger. I kindly do subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And this lecture will be talking about the venous drainage of the rectum. Our focus today is that what is the venous drainage of the rectum? Okay, you at least before you are watching this video, you already know the anatomy of the rectum. You know where the rectum is. Okay, definitely. All right. If not, you are like rushing in life. Okay. So this, um, in this video, we'll be talking about uh, the venous drainage of the rectum. All right. And the rectum is like um, the ending point of your uh, digestive system. Okay. After the sigmoid colon, we have the rectum. That if you want to defecate, um, it is opening into the anus. Okay. The rectum is like the interior surface of the anus, right? So studying this uh, venous uh, supply here, uh, how, uh, what veins can you actually say that they're actually uh, giving up tributaries to the rectum? You know, when you're talking about veins, you say tributaries. When you're talking about arteries, you talk about branches, okay? So looking at this, I can see the superior rectal vein actually giving a branch up, okay, to the rectum. And looking at this, I can also see the middle rectal vein giving off a branch into the rectum. Then uh, also looking at this, I can see the inferior rectal vein giving off a branch. Branches, okay, sorry, all what I wanted to say was branches, okay, giving all of these give branches into the rectum, okay? And they drain deoxygenated blood and all those waste products from the rectum, okay? So guys, um, uh, the venous drainage of rectum proper, we say that the superior, the middle and inferior uh, rectal veins drain the rectum, okay? So once again, let me, let me take it over again. Uh, we have superior rectal veins, middle rectal veins, inferior rectal veins, okay? Focus on these three. Ignore any other thing on this diagram, okay? So note that internal hemorrhoids, that's like... Um, all those like let me say inflammation of veins all right although i don't have them here but at least you guys know what hemorrhoids are like internal hemorrhoids that's like inflammation of veins and you see it showing at the external surface of your anus okay so the internal one that you can't really see at the external surface of the anus but you can feel the pain though okay it is due to the varicosities of that's like inflammations of the tributaries of the superior rectal veins okay and how do you bag this up this is a superior rectal vein and you could see that the branches are like up okay so if these are inflamed you won't see them on the exterior surface all right but you'll be feeling the pain all right so like inflammation of them is actually what we call the internal hemorrhoids all right then going forward to talk about the external hemorrhoids okay these are due to the varicosities of the tributaries of inferior rectal veins okay now you see that these inferior rectal veins these are the ones supplying the rectum inferiorly and they are closer to the surface okay they are like subcutaneous closer to your skin all right and if there is varicosities of these veins it will actually show on your skin you'll be seeing some dark lines okay dark lines like that okay that's like the external hemorrhoids okay and these are due to the uh, uh, varicosities of the tributaries of inferior rectal veins okay so that's the end of our lecture but let's use this image to summarize everything we have learned in this tutorial okay so this is the rectum this stuff you see in brown okay now you can see the uh, superior rectal vein giving up branches okay you see the middle rectal veins giving up branch tributaries sorry veins give tributaries okay superior rectal veins giving off tributaries Middle rectal veins giving up tributaries and inferior rectal veins giving up tributaries. I could see that these tributaries are anastomose, like they intertwine, they communicate. Okay, the anastomose at the posterior wall, anterior wall, and all that. Okay, and they help drain deoxygenated blood from the rectum. Okay, so guys, that's the venous drainage of the rectum. So see you guys in the next tutorial. And bye for now.